Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of my video series in which I'm gonna take you along on my journey to building a performance installation. I wanna get building as soon as possible, but I wanna give you a little bit of background about what we're gonna do. This project is about the connection between sustainability and humanitarian crises and giving the audience a physical experience about what effort it takes to generate electricity. That's a whole mouthful, so let me clarify. We are gonna be building two bikes that can generate electricity. So every round, two audience members will be doing an energy generation race. The one who generates the most power wins. By selling this electricity either to the grid or giving the power to the people to charge their phones, for example. We make a little bit of money. This money is the prize for the winner and the winner can choose what they do with the money. Either they take it home, they make a few cents, or they choose to donate it to humanitarian aid in, for example, Ukraine. If they choose the latter option, I will multiply this amount by X, I have to determine how much, um, out of my own pocket. During this whole process of the race, we will be talking about all stuff related to sustainability, energy crisis, humanitarian crisis, war crimes, and how that all relates to each other. It's going to be very educational, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be exhausting, it's going to be lit, and it's going to be premiering at Caravan Festival in Alkmaar, the Netherlands, 18 until 21st of May. Oh, and by the way, um, I wasn't sure yet about the title. I was thinking maybe something like Cycle of Life or um, Two Bikes, One Goal or something. Maybe just f Putin. So yeah, I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comments. Maybe drop a suggestion for a title. This is my process. I start, I think, then I do, then I think, then I do, then I think, then I do. Then I panic and I uh, have some existential questions uh, along the way. And then time's up and there's a result. Enough talking, let's go. So I have this bike on a stand with a car alternator there, hooked up to it from some previous projects. And I'm gonna use that to set a sort of baseline efficiency test using these batteries. I'm just gonna measure how much power I can output by cycling on this thing. And then I'm gonna use some hoverboard motors to build another setup and see which one's more efficient. Here is a car alternator, an amp meter, the battery and the voltage meter. If all goes according to plan, I should be able to calculate power by multiplying the amperage by the voltage. Maybe I'm missing something somewhere, but uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right now it's showing 16 volts and 0.2 amps. Amps are slowly going up. 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.28. 0.3, still 16 volts. Let's see if we can gear up a little. 4 amps, 19 something something. Okay. So right now I generated sort of about 80 watts with, um, it was 19 and a half volts and 4 amps. I don't know if that's like the maximum I can generate or that the, the load of the battery is right now limiting. But this felt like a sort of speed that I could do like a sprint of like 15 minutes or something for me. Um, so, uh, the next thing is to get the hoverboard motor connected to the bike. Which one generates more power more easily? That's efficient, just in other words. Here is the plan. Strip the hoverboard, then attach some three-phase rectifiers to the motors. Attach the rectifiers to the frame to use the frame as a heatsink and then see how much voltage I get out of there to see if I can just put it directly into the battery or that I need some form of regulator or charger or anything. No, don't go in there! Bam! Okay. There's still too much plastic! <gasps> Just in the center, bam, just more or less, bam. Oh, I fucked up, I fucked up. Okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I just remembered that I wanted to tap a thread for this bolt to keep the rectifier on there, but I drilled the holes too big. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And then I realized that it's also better to put it a little bit more to the side because there's more mass of metal here, so it can get rid of more heat. Yes, good, yes. Okay, well, um, never mind. Nuts. Thermal paste. Always use thermal paste. Even if it's just a little bit. 
Bam! Bam! Let's see. Oh my Gucci. I don't think I have enough of these things, actually. That's a lot of wire. Nice. What the f***? So basically I have a rectifier connected here and I just attach my voltmeter and it generates about 15 volts if I just give it a slinger. So I'm gonna do the other one now and then see if I can figure out a way to connect them to the rear wheel of the bike. Hmm. Hmm. Why are they different? My god, whatever. Cleaning up, very important, but not today. No, not today. <laughs> More or less. Oh, wait, let me adjust this, then you can see what I'm doing. It's one. Ah. One. No way. Okay. Let me get rid of this little rubberies. Why, you may ask? Because they're ugly. That's why. Now they're punishing me. Now the idea is to take this plate off and make another way of mounting this whole thing to this spar, bar, bar, sprabar, piece of wood. Okay, and now if I make it like this, adjust 100. I have this little piece of threaded rod. I have some nuts and stuff. Then I have these taatslagers. It's called a pressure bearing, I think. It's a bearing that uh, bears pressure. Beep, 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 beep. Then I want to put the threaded rod through here, through here. Put some bearings in between. Put some nuts on both ends. Put some springs to pull it up, and then it goes against the wheel, and we can cycle. That's the plan. That's very unstraight. Whatever. It's kind of straight. What? Oh, kind of promising. Maybe I'm not a complete idiot. Hey, yo, that kind of works, you know. Ah. <laughs> huh? Okay. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. No, stay to the side. Stay here, you know. Almost there. Maybe I should tie this to something here. Yeah. Something else. Oh my gosh! Okay, so that sort of works. I hope. We'll see. Uh, now I have to hook up the DC terminals to some capacitors. And then try it out. So I'm gonna do cable, plug capacitor near plug and then on the other end I will attach it to the rectifier I have two cables now only the parallel cable okay let's install all this stuff Floop. wait let me zip tie this it's all temporary uh. All right, a quick rundown of this janky jank setup. I have the hoverboard motors connected to the rectifiers. On the rectifiers there's an extension lead that has a big capacitor on it and it sets these two rectifiers in parallel. Then that wire runs all the way to the amp meter and to the voltage meter. And I'm gonna do a dry test now just to see what voltage comes off of these things if I start cycling. And if it's any sort of reasonable, I'll connect it to the batteries and see what happens. It's working! 21 volts at casual speed. 30, 23, 25. Nice! Let's connect a load. Ah, hmm, interesting. 11 volts on the car battery. 0.8 amps, 2 amps, 3 amps. This easily beats out the alternator. Right now I'm at 20 volts, 5 amps, not even putting in any effort, 6 amps, 20 volts, okay. That's 120 watts by just casually cycling. 
That's amazing and scary at the same time because I'm not sure if my stuff is up to that. 8 amps. Oh, I can easily hit 10 amps. Okay, hold on. So I got these things second hand. These are solar charge controllers and they are rated for 75 volts, 15 amps. Because I didn't think I would easily generate that much power, but I do apparently. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this if I'm going to put these in series instead of parallel so I generate more volts but less amps. But that's going to be something for another day because this episode is over. If you enjoyed this and you're curious for the rest of this project, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out. Um, there's going to be lots more coming. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.